Hello everyone and thank you for coming back for another video with Deb Chanel's 40th World. We're going to get right on into it. We're going to give you the update and the uh, news flash of who's coming back, who's not uh, not coming back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and possibly some new faces. Okay, this beautiful young lady right here is named... Oh, it's known as Keisha from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Yes, I did say Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the Ratchet Show. Where they really get to fight on that show and be cussing up a storm. Cussing more than a sailor, okay? Sick uh, on the sea, if you want to know that. You know, that's just where it was. That's how I saw it. Because I had to stop watching it. I had to stop watching it because it's too ratchet for me. The only reason I did watch it was because of Bambi and Scrappy and Lil Jop. Them two, just them themselves, Jock and, and and um um little Scrappy. That was a show all by itself. But I would have been more surprised and happier if they would have bought Bambi and Scrappy on the show. Cause you guys got Mama D. You know she just like Mama Joyce over there. You know two two nuts, two seasoned nuts together that would give you a chuckle. Okay, a chuckle. But yeah, I was like, dang, why they passed old Bammy to come on the show if they had to get somebody ratchet from the real house for the real housewives of Atlanta Pounder show. And, and, and look at that. Love and Hip Hop Bring it on to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's supposed to be some upgrade, I guess, from being on Love and Hip Hop. Because that's like at the bottom of the barrel. And then you're trying to come up a little bit to put somebody of that ratchetness on Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's supposed to be some kind of class to it. I'm like, Miss Hustle. I'm like, Felicia Rashad, what the hell is going on? That just don't make no sense. You're going to go get anybody. All these successful people out here in Atlanta, you're going to go to the Real Housewives, I mean, you're going to go to uh, Love and Hip Hop of Atlanta that Jocelyn Hernandez came from, that Kate Michelle came from, who and we just go on and on and on, but this is two I can name at this particular time, you're going to bring them over to Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> Well, child, they said Cynthia Baylor's not coming back, and Portia Williams is not coming back. She made her exit out on Dish Nation. Now she's making her exit from Bravo because Bravo is giving her a spinoff show of the, uh, oh, I think it was called The Pursuit of Portia and all that kind of stuff. So those two people allegedly will be not be coming back, will not be coming back. Let me say it one more time for the people in the back. Will not be coming back. I was allegedly, I'm just hearing it from the streets, okay? And who, who really wanted to see Cynthia anymore? If we can get rid of Karen, that, that'll be very much so a welcome thing. But I'm like, I wonder what Mike feel about that. I wonder what Mike feel about that, okay? Now he can have Cynthia all to his lovely self. And maybe she can get on Beverly Hills. Or uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Y'all better stop it. I don't know. But I am going to miss my Portia. But I got to do some more stories. I got to do some more digging on her uh, husband to be. Uh, Gambadia. Uh, what is his name, y'all? So, what? I, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. But ain't ain't nobody liking that man. They say he did Fallon his uh y'all know Portia went over to that girl's house and, you know, went swimming with the rest of the women and stuff. And they say, you know, allegedly she took Fallon's husband. You know, but it probably was already on the rocks anyway. But that's still not a good look, Portia. That's not a good look at all. Okay, but they say a reason why Portia is leaving the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta is because she don't want the beef. And you know, Kenya will come with that smoke. <laughs> she still may come with this uh, smoke on uh, like uh, a quick shade or whatever if they ask about Portia. And you know, Marlo, between Marlo and Kenya... Gaming up on uh, Portia about messing with a married man, stealing a married man, and then think she's going to have some good luck after that, or a good karma going to be sashaying around her. Honey, now that would have been a story to tell too. But they just said, you know, she didn't want to come back. She didn't want to smoke from her cast members trying to, you know, throw their salt on everything. But, you know, Drew Sador is supposed to come back. Uh, I can see maybe one more season with her, uh, because, hey, if it's a hit, stop it, Jaden. If it's a hit with, uh, Keisha coming from the, uh, Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, they may go back. <laughs> they may go back and say, oh, we need to pull somebody else because we need somebody else to replace Drew's door. And, of course, you know, Candy's coming back. 
I guess Candy going to continue to keep coming back until they tell her she can't come back. Okay. So, I don't know. You know, you got Marlo. She don't got her peach. She's uh, coming in the limelight. Uh, and maybe that was because of Cynthia replacement. But I'm sure uh, they may hold the door open for Portia. Uh, she want to come back for season 15. Who knows? But she might get like a little spinoff uh, as long as eight seasons. That would be nice for her. And I hope she'd be saving every plenty, penny. And because uh, that gun body, uh, her, her, her future husband, I don't know. Can you might got some dirt on him. You know, Marlo be talking about them streets. Both of them teaming up. Hey, it's going to be some headlines out there for us to partake of. Because they love talking about them Africans, boy. And who got them and this, that, and the third. And it just is what it is. But we're going to get into it because I told y'all who was coming, who was not, uh, who w won't be coming back. And, of course, we didn't forget about Sheree. I just didn't hear anything. I mean, that could just be a rumor. And, again, who would need uh, Sheree back in? She's not really giving us nothing unless she's going to be still talking with or engaged to the man that was in prison. But I don't think he's in prison anymore for some kind of, uh, it's a white-collar crime that he did. It has to do something with uh, laundering money or something to that degree. But yeah, Portia got her own little spinoff show we should be expecting prior to the end of the year. I will be definitely doing a uh, review on her show because I, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm like, Dennis, I'm kind of liking you a little bit better now. I know you ain't no good either, but uh, Gumbadio over there to the left, he ain't no good either because it seems like he like a lot of women as well. And he, he wants Portia to be at home with his other children uh, as long as, uh, as well as uh, with her own. And I'm pretty sure Portia's going to be trying to get pregnant. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Portia might be able to pump your brace because out in these streets, they saying that he ain't even buying you the nice uh, material to make your wardrobes out of. He buying some cheap stuff running around him. And that he's going to be charging it all off on it being shown on TV. So he's going to get a write-off for everything. So it's going to be like, you have a cheap win. You say you're going to have three, girl. I don't know why you need three. But maybe that's just the culture and the heritage of your uh, fiancé. Because one is enough. One is enough, baby. And I'm going to see. Uh, this will be your second marriage. And your third man. Uh, all under a 10-year span. So... I don't know if that's a good little push. I just don't know. But we're going to go on and get into this article. It was written on Yahoo.com. It was really from Madame Moore. Uh, Madame Noir magazine. And it was uh, the journalist of the article. It's called uh, Natasha Decker. She put it out on the 17th, which is today at 4.43 p.m. Okay, how about that? Her title reads, Here's the Tea on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 14 Shake-Up. Okay, cast shake-up. Cast shake-up. Okay, it goes on into say, with its cast gearing up to film next month, that's October, season 14 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, will reportedly feature an alum, a new face, and the absences of two Real Housewives favorites. Okay? And I just told you who it was. They bring it in this new lady, Keisha, from uh, <laughs> a Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So if ain't nobody really seen or know what real uh hip hop Atlanta is about please go and google it or please go and watch some of the past seasons okay it's a hot mess and how they can form a team between real housewives of Atlanta and that show whoo wee the the red is either gonna be in the toilet or miss Keisha gonna bring up some stuff and gonna bring the fire and the ratchetness okay I'm talking about probably bringing them hands too. Something Portia used to do and she got slapped on the wrist for it. Hey, go to anger, anger management and all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> it was entertaining. Woo, it was entertaining. Child when they had to tame Portia. Kind of got a little bored. Kind of got a little boring here and there. But we just, it is what it is. It is what it is, okay? But yeah. Like I said, I, I, I would have rather had Bambi and Scrappy. Because at least we would have saw Mama D. It gave us more drama. You know, it's a lot more, you know, a little, a little more meat to bite into. Okay? Instead of giving us a little salad with some uh, light uh, dressing to go with it. You know? Because that's how Real Housewives been, of Atlanta been for the last about four seasons. <laughs> okay? Dry. Woo! Dry. But anyway, going back to the article, it says... Um, Entertainment or entertainment reader 
Anthony Dominique spilled some extra tea on his Instagram stories and shared that Portia Williams and Cynthia Bailey will not be returning for Bravo's hit shows upcoming season. Okay, season 13, newbie Drew Sador and Real Housewives of Atlanta vets Candy Burris and Kenya Moore were all included in Dominique's season 14 lineup. The journalist confirmed rumors that Marlo is finally getting her page. Yes, I'm like Claire Huston, but like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? What did you say? Marlo gonna get a peach, and we can't even bring Fay Fay back. We can't bring Fraser back, but we can give Marlo a peach. And she was talking about the gays back when, when, whatever. Now she got redeemed. Everybody like her in the gay community, but we can't bring Fay Fay back. Whoo, my 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 my. But ooh, Cynthia got gone though. We wait for her to go because she had been sunk the boat a long time ago. But she rode it. She rode it till they didn't want it no more. <laughs> Or I heard that they were going to make her a friend of the show. <laughs> Which, that's pretty much how you start off if you don't get a, a peach uh, coming in on the show. You start as, out as a friend, okay? Stop it, Jay. Okay, but anyway, we go back to the article. It says, Dominique also doubled down on speculation that Cherie Whitfield is returning as a full-time cast member. Okay, speculation. Here we go. The Real Housewives of Atlanta OG starred on the show from seasons one through four before exiting and later returning as a friend to the cast in season eight. Sheree regained her peach and served as a full-time housewife for season 9 and 10 before taking her latest hiatus from the series. Dominique posted, uh, he noted the upcoming season might feature possible cameos from past cast members. I'm like, yeah, just give uh, Sheree uh, a cameo. We don't need them. <laughs> We don't need her because the show is already in the gutter and it's really on a uh, it's it's really on life support. But bringing Sheree Whitfield back would be a waste of money when you can go get somebody brand new off, off the streets. You could have got somebody else. You could go in Bambi from Real Housewives of uh, a real uh, what do you call it? Love and Hip Hop. You could have bought Bambi or you probably could have got uh, Carly Red. Hey, uh, Carly Red could have been doing some things. Y'all don't know who she is. Look up. Uh, Google her. You'll find a picture. But anyway. That was just my pun intended. Going back to the article, it says, While he didn't share the source of all the juicy news, Dominique did explain in a later post that Portia is not returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta because she has her own show. Yes, Portia. She's going to be like Candy Burr. She's going to be like uh, Nene in that sense where she had a little brighter show or whatever. And uh, now... She's meaning poor. She's gonna be flung herself on her own show like Kim Zozuak. So let's give her a round of applause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hand claps. And we'll look forward to reviewing her show and looking at it and try to drive her ratings up so she can at least have a long run like Kim Zozuak, maybe seven, eight years, and then hopefully she'll retire somewhere. Hopefully she'll be done built up her businesses by then. Okay, it's this gown. What's that gown? Bidino or Gabata? We don't know, but Portia. Find you a, 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 a what do you call it, an investor, um, or someone that won't take your money, a good accountant, because we don't want you mixing money when we don't know too much about this man you're trying to marry. Try to tell you about Dennis, but you know that kind of fizzled down, and, and you got smart about that. But he had to drag you in the mud a little bit, got you a little dirty and, you know, stuff like that. But, okay, we won't go in the past. We're staying in the future. I mean, staying in the present, looking for the future, for better karma to come your way. But I don't know if you really took this man, uh, this woman's man from her. Because, really, I don't think you could take a man or you could take a woman from somebody. If they want to go, they're they going to go. You know what I'm saying? It's, if they don't want to go, they're going to stay and be safe. So, it is what it is. Stop it, y'all. But uh, going back to the article, it said that, uh, you know, Portia's not returning. She's going to have her own little show, a special that focused on her new relationship and family. Okay. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star made headlines earlier this year when she announced she was engaged to Simon. I said, stop it, Jay. Simon Gobadia. The former husband of Fallon Pina, who was a friend of the cast in season 13. Yeah, y'all know the one. She went over there to the house. They were having hookahs and swimming and having all this, you know, nice setup. And then this older man was sitting up there watching like he was a pervert or something. I, I didn't like him. I didn't like him. So I'm going to do some more stories. I'm going to gear me up some stories on Mr. Gabadia. Okay, and see what I can find and bring him out and dish him to y'all. And y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Okay, because we, we got the side out on, on Mr. Simon. We got the side out on him. Okay, but then going back.
back to the article says Radio Online shared that although Bravo wants Portia to stay on the show, the reality TV star reportedly doesn't want to deal with the negativity surrounding her soon-to-be husband. I like that. Portia, you can't do that now. You can't swim with sharks and think you're going to come up without any bites. Now, come on. Come on, Portia. Come on. I know you were scared. You scared, Ken. You're going to lash into that behind. She's going to get into the ass. And she was going to tear you up. I know it. I know it. I know it. And there's going to be some a lot of, whoo, naysayers. But you know, <laughs> whoo, Kenya is good at that tornado twirling. She's going to pounce all over your head. Oh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yep, she's going to tear you up. Then Marlo is going to be in the wings. She's going to be in the wings with her one-two punches here and there. Uh, trying to set you straight and trying to like Nene keep your legs close to marry me. Yes. Oh, and she said that's the Kim Zozak. So I don't know. Are you taking over Kim Zozak place, girl? I don't know. I don't know. But they say you man ain't made of no millions or no billions, girl. He got thousands. I just hear it. I just hear it on these streets, on these YouTube streets. But I don't know how true it is, Portia. Well, I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching, girl. But anyway, uh, she said she didn't want to deal with no negativity. And I'm like, Portia, you started the mess. Don't be like uh, Candy trying to run from Phaedra. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay the piper because it's going to be done either way. Okay, karma is just like a boomerang. You throw it out there, it's coming back. Whatever you threw out there, if you threw negativity, it's coming back. If you threw positivity, it's coming back. Full circle, babe, I'm just saying. Going back to the article, it said her concern is that, for example, producers and or the other ladies will bring other women to the show that Simon has allegedly been involved with. Uh, the outlet details. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, yeah, that's something Kenya would do. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to keep going into the article. While we're still not sure who's the cast newbie, might be, it's been rumored that light-skinned Keisha, this is her, a former love and hip-hop star, might be the new peach holder to round out the gas. Okay, that's what Dominique's saying on his little feed, that Miss Keisha, a former love and hip-hop star, might be the new peach holder to round out the cast. Now, if you want to see how she gets down, go to her social media your page okay or you go to love and hip hop atlanta catch some of those past episodes and you can refresh yourself with who she is because if she the one that come that's supposed to bring the smoke and and bring the ratings back up <laughs> woo get to know her boo get to know her that's in my that's my sidebar not in the article and lastly um uh, from the article, it says, if you're looking forward to seeing how the new cast dynamic will play out, Dominique also reports season 14 will premiere in April of 2022. Okay, straight up for the springtime. All right, straight up for the springtime. But that's all I had about this little video, guys. If you like it, love it, and you gotta have more, just remember to share me out and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be right here pumping them out, grinding them out as I see fit. All right. But other than that, I will catch y'all next video. Y'all be breezy, as my daughter likes to say. Okay, but other times I like to say, I'll catch you next video. Bye bye.